But let's talk some more about the tech situation with Jenny Horn, host of Next Gen Investing. All right, the antitrust story to, on Apple, let's come back to that because this really did finally apply, apply some major pressure in a way these uh, stories haven't in the past. So it's uh, definitely a major factor right now. Or I feel like it also like, is the timing of the news. It's, it comes at a time when Apple has not been able to catch a break outside of yeah, this story. Sure. So I feel like we saw more of a reaction than typically. It's like these antitrust things are just like rolled off as far as like stock reaction. But European Commission did say on to this morning that it's opening this sweeping investigation into meta platforms, Apple and Alphabet's Google for noncompliance under their overall Digital Markets Act. The commission said they are looking into Al Alphabet's rules on steering in Google Play and self-preferencing on Google Search, Apple's rules on steering on the App Store and the choice seen for Safari and Meta for the pay or consent model. So according to the commission, all three of the companies could face fines of up to 10% of their overall worldwide turnover. Google did say that they're engaged with the commission and they are still trying to comply with the, the various regulatory bodies. That's what per a spokesperson, Meta and Apple have not replied yet. But I think it's very interesting to claim that Apple, I still argue this, that it, to claim Apple is a monopoly because they have like 30% of the global smartphone market and like 60% in the US, which is substantial. But to me, that's not a monopoly. Those numbers just don't right. warrant a monopoly. So I'm not saying that the street should be shaking this off because this is like the most named they've ever been in a specific federal lawsuit. So that's huge. But I also don't know if this means that Apple's in like dire situation. I think their bigger problem is like get your orders up for the iPhone 15. Right, <laughs> and uh, maybe also uh, you know tie your horse to something more innovative than the giant headsets they're selling to people. <laughs> uh, but okay, so uh, Apple hasn't been a favorite now for several months. Mm -hmm. This piles on top of it, uh, and this is also where uh, you know the U.S. versus the EU. You know, the U.S., we're kind of waiting to see how this turns out. The EU is already hitting uh, them with fines, and it's a little more sweeping. I mean, it's just uh, regulators across the border are not letting big tech go easily right now. So if the other stocks trade like Apple had, uh, to your point, then we would have a problem. But right now, if it's Apple's other things that are kind of weighing this down, then maybe it won't hit Meta. Maybe it won't hit Alphabet. But I don't know. It's possible. It seems like if the market has been hit on Apple for this, maybe it will find its way into Meta or Alphabet. Okay, and you make a good point about the EU because here in the U.S., maybe I'm just less trusting of, of our, our federal system, but the EU has actually made things happen. I mean, Apple's already agreed to lower that, that fee it charges on its, its app store overseas. Mm -hmm. Spotify was a huge reason for that. And we also know that based on some of the, the news we got, I believe it was back in October of 2022, that's the reason we have now the universal charging cord in right. all of the new iPhones yeah. because of what happened in Europe. So actually, Europe is more powerful, I think, on our like regulatory system than perhaps even our own has been right now. <laughs> well, they've been really aggressive, too. Yeah. So uh, unrelenting. All right. Uh, let's talk some commentary here real quick this morning on Tesla, the laggard of the group, of course, uh, in the MAG7 category. What's the latest here? Downgrade for Tesla. Price target of 195 but moving to neutral from buy. They're not saying outright sell your shares, but they do remain still overall constructive, they said, on the broader EV landscape with ties to the long-term trend of electrification. But near-term EV demand and tightening liquidity are creating challenges now into 2025. They do see the 2024 EV growth up 15% year over year versus 25% previously. Sales expectations are decelerating faster than expected. So as such, in addition, to Tesla, this note also did include Neo and Rivian, which I thought were were interesting. But all moving to neutral from buy, no outright sells. But 195 is below the average price target right now. It's around 207, which doesn't still above where we're trading though. Still above where we're trading. So it doesn't make you say that this is ne this is the most like green, the most like I would say basically middle tier, middle of the road call you've ever heard. Neutral <laughs> and 195 price target. Okay, all right. So probably not going to move the shares too much, but. No Notable that uh, bulls kind of keep capitulating on Tesla because they haven't been bullish. Now they say not to chase it anymore. 30% buys now, and it was over 70 like for like two quarters ago. Yeah, all right. That's what happens uh, when the market keeps going up and uh, your stock doesn't.